Will you get over here? What is it? You just stay put, Grandpa, and mind your manners. You just stay put, old boy. It took a little doing, but I got him. But the way you were yelling, I thought you were in some sort of trouble. Well, I was. I almost lost him two or three times. You... Well, I almost broke my leg getting here to look at some fish. Well, not just some fish. This is Grandpa. I've been trying to get him for a long time. Why? Well, take a look at him. He'll go two and a half pounds at least. Oh, you fisherman. You catch something that any self-respecting Indian would throw back in. And suddenly it's larger than the whale that swallowed Jonah. The one thing I can't understand is, why? Well, likely it makes us feel a little bigger than we really are. You reckon? I reckon. I also reckon that if you'll stop admiring that overgrown minnow, you might listen to what I have to say. Oh, I'm listening. Well, before you started yelling, I was trying to make out some tracks that I found on the trail back there. Fresh tracks, peculiar. Man or beast? Both, both. One was a mule, the other a man. Now, the mule was wearing shoes and the man was barefoot. Sounds like a very unselfish person. Which direction were they headed? The man or the mule? How's that? Well, the mule went one way, the man went the other. Well, why do you reckon a man and a mule parted company? Probably it was the mule's decision. Barefoot. The man's barefoot, he couldn't have gone very far. I reckon we ought to take a look. Grandpa, I'll be back for you another day. out loud, that is, since I was a young one. <laughs> well, I have young'uns, and whenever they cry, I always ask them where they hurt. I reckon that's what I'll have to ask you. I'm past feeling any hurt. They're gone. Most likely dead by now. Well, who's gone? My dear wife and my boy. Carried away by those murdering devils. I've looked and I've looked till I'm worn out with looking. But I've got to find them. Alive or dead, I've just got to find them. Just about your size, too. 
Very manly lad, my little Freddy. Gee, that's a terrible thing. Pa? Yes, Israel? What would you do if you never saw me again? I'm afraid I wouldn't do very well. Would I, Becky? No, you wouldn't. And neither would I. I just wish I could say something to comfort you, Mr. Ledbetter. Well, you... You could call me Jasper. The only Mr. Ledbetter I ever knew was my paw. Are you sure those Indians were Delaware? Well, being from the East, I don't know my Indian tribes like you people do, but we was traveling through what I understood was their territory. Wasn't much time for introductions, you understand? They just surrounded our wagons and... The last thing I remember was getting hit on the head. When I come to, there they were. Four men lying dead. And my wife and my little boy gone. I buried the dead and started looking for my family. Those Indians must have carried them off. They must have. But why? Considering they didn't even take time to lift your scalp. Well, my wife's a very pretty woman. I know it's hard to believe a homely old man like me, but my Lucy is as pretty as, as... As pretty as my ma? Well, Lucy's a bit older, but she's still as dainty as a little doll. She has a lovely hair, sort of a pale yellow color of wheat when the sun shines on it. And her voice is soft. So soft you have to bend down sometimes to hear what she's saying. Maybe one of those engines is partial to yellow hair. I've got to think that, Miss Boone. I just got to. It's the only thing that keeps me going, keeps me believing that they might not kill her. First, I'd hope that she and little Freddy got away. You know how you hope. But then, if they had, I'd have found them. Jasper... Where did you pick up that mule? That fool mule. I got him in Maysville. I should have bought me a horse, but the man in the stable says, thing to get is a mule. I reckon he had one he wanted to get rid of. Took all the money I had. Looking back on it, I'd like to poke that man in the nose. And come to think of it, I'd like to poke that mule in the nose, too. You know, it's the only animal I ever met that didn't like me. He didn't like me from the start. I could tell by the way he looked at me. You know what he did one night while I was sleeping? What? He ate one of my boots. That's how come you found me barefoot. My feet haven't been warm since. Well, won't you move over there by the fire, Jasper, and warm them up? Here's we'll get that chair. Yeah. You know, I hope I'll be able to walk by tomorrow. Mmm, uh, it feels good. Uh, well, I don't know about that. They, they look like they need a lot of rest. I can't rest. I gotta find my family. Mr. Boone, I need your help. I know it's a lot to ask, but sometimes a man's just got to ask, even beg. Well, there's no need to, Jasper. I'll give you all the help I can. You mean that? You give me your word? I give you my word. You're everything that people say you are. <laughs> well, I hope not everything. Well, even in Pennsylvania, where I come from, People speak of Daniel Boone, speak highly. And when I got to Maysville, wasn't a soul didn't say Daniel Boone's the only man in the world can help you. Mr. Boone, I, I haven't got anything, but I'll make it up to you somehow. I don't know exactly how, but I will. There's no need to worry about that, Jasper. Come in. Becky? 
How are you feeling, Mr. Ladbetter? Well, my feet are still cold, but my heart's warmed up considerable. <laughs> How are your feet, Mingo? Hmm? About the same as usual, I guess. Why? Because you and I are going for a walk. A pretty long one. I thought you were going to say something like that. Now, Dan, can't it wait until morning? Well, I'd like to be well on my way by morning. Where? Where are you going to start? You said it was the Delaware, so we'll start with the Delawares. I think we should travel separately. Very well. We've got a lot of ground to cover and not much time to do it in. Israel, you take care of your mom. Sure, Pa. And you take care of those feet. I wish I could go with you, Mr. Boone. It just don't seem right somehow. You doing all this for a stranger and me just sitting here in front of the fire all warm and comfortable. We haven't done anything yet. You just keep hoping that we do. I'll keep hoping. And I'll do a little praying, too. I'll be right back. My grandpa brought me a whole jar full of buttons, all the way from London, England. Would you like to look at them? Would you like to see my new knife? Do you want to play a game I know? I know how you feel, Mr. Jasper. I reckon there's not anything you'd like just now. But you don't need to worry. My pa and Mingo will find your family for you. Honest. I feel ashamed. Here you are doing all you can to help me, and I'm sitting here wrapped up in my grief, a selfish old man. Oh, I didn't mean that, Uncle Jasper. I was just trying to build I up your hopes. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me forget my troubles by finding something I'd like. Well, I'll tell you something I'd like. What's that? Another one of those cookies your ma baked for supper. Oh, you would? I want one, too. Seven people in that wagon. He claims that they were attacked by the Delaware. We've been at peace for many moons. Why would we attack them now? Well, I was hoping you hadn't. Your hope is fulfilled, my son. Answer is no. Yes, I thought it might be, but I am grateful that it is. I beg your pardon, stranger. Have you seen a lady with pale yellow hair and a little boy named Freddy? Nope. I regret to say I haven't. Stranger? Well, neither have I. Uh, I traveled almost as far as the headwaters of the Muskingum. And I accomplished nothing, except perhaps to make several persons rather angry. I did a good deal of that myself. Daniel, I'm beginning to think that you and I have been sent on a fool's errand. Glad to hear you say that. I don't like feeling foolish all by myself. Jasper claimed he was attacked somewhere near Maysville. He did talk to the people there. No one knew anything about it. Yes, and unless everyone is lying, no one in the Delaware Territory knows anything about it. I find that very curious. Jasper was addled, confused. He was hurt. Grieving for his wife and his boy. He must have made a mistake because he was confused. Mightily confused. Between the two of us, we've tracked for miles and miles. If Jasper's wagon had been attacked, there would have been some trace of it, and yet we found nothing. 
And where are the graves of the four men he buried? If there had been a massacre, someone would know. Well, you'd think they would. On the other hand, why would Jasper bother to lie about it? The answer to that would be very interesting. Well, there's only one way to find out, Mingo. Let's go home. Uncle Jasper! Uncle Jasper! Hello, boy. Guess where I got Uncle Jasper? Go on, guess. Let me see now. What could it be? An elephant. No, it's something really. A present for you. Something you want real bad. Oh, uh, then it couldn't be an elephant. Let's see, is it a... It's a cloudburst. No. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I've always wanted my own cloudburst. <laughs> Do you give up? Yeah, I give up. Well, sir, I'm beholden to you, Israel. Go on, try them on. They'll fit, too. How do you know they will? I measured your foot while you were asleep last night. <laughs> you know, I felt something tickling me, and I thought I was dreaming about a feather. <laughs> I measured everybody's feet, and the only one came close to you was Cincinnatus. You didn't go out and steal these for me, did you, boy? Prominently, no. If I'd done that, my mom would wear a board out on me. Or if she didn't, my pa would. Cincinnatus gave them to you. Best present I ever had. How am I going to thank Cincinnatus? Oh, I already did. He said you're welcome. Oh, my golly, they do fit. <laughs> of course, sir. They're not his Sunday ones. I don't want the Sunday ones. Sundays wouldn't be broke in so good. Hello, Jasper. Yeah. I have a present for you, too. Miss Boone, uh, this is a beautiful shirt. Well, it's warm. And so are you, ma'am. And so is the whole Boone family. Warm and kind. Well, you just wait. When my pa gets back, I bet you he'll have a present for you, too. Come along, sir. I'm sorry, Jasper. I couldn't find a trace of them, neither could Mingo. Uh, Israel, I think you should go out and play a while. Oh, Ma! I can tell you one thing, though. It wasn't the Delaware that attacked your wagon. I'm afraid he's right, Mr. Ledbetter. Well, maybe not. But like I said, I don't know one Indian from another, but they were Indians. Can't you remember anything about them? How they dressed, how they talked? Well, they didn't talk. They just whooped and hollered and carried on like Indians. Let's not go over all that again. I'm, I'm beholden to you for trying, Mr. Boone. You too, Mingo. Just wish there was something I could do, something I could give you to show my appreciation. But like I said, I haven't got anything now. Except this. I forgot I had it. Wish you'd keep it as a sort of remembrance. Where did you find this, Jasper? It was where that massacre took place. It was laying on the ground by one of the graves I was digging. Indian dropped it. I don't know how I happened to pick it up. Is something the matter? That's a rather strange thing for an Indian to be carrying at the time of a massacre. Well, what do you mean? That's a peace pipe. A peace pipe? Shawnee Peace Pipe. It happens to be a tribe we're not particularly friendly with just now. You could have saved us a lot of traveling by showing this to us before. Never crossed my mind, Mr. Boone. Does that mean that now there's no hope for my wife, my little boy? I wouldn't say that, Jasper. The Shawnee have been known to take women and small children captive. 
What I don't understand is how that got there. You mostly see them at council meetings, maybe a burial ground. Burial ground? It's one of their customs. That doesn't make any sense. Which way were you traveling when you got to Maysville? Well, to tell the truth, I, I don't rightly know. The shock and all. I was just walking, hoping to find some place where I could get some help. Is it real important? Well, it would be if you knew for sure, but since you don't know, you don't know. So we'll just forget that part of it. Wish I could be of more help to you. Well, I wish you could too, Jasper. But a man doesn't think straight at a time like that. So we'll do with just what we know. Well, what? What do you mean by that? Well, this is Shawnee property. I reckon we ought to return it to him. Dan, do you think that's wise? Now, Becky, I told Jasper I'd help him. You wouldn't want me to go back on my word, would you? No, I don't suppose I would. It's all right, Miss Boone. It's all right. I'll go. These are my kin folks, and it's my bounden duty to do what I can for them. At least now I know where they are, and I'll go looking for them. And I'll go alone. <laughs> better? Well, my feet hurt, but that's nothing new for me. Not that I'm complaining. Well, Daniel told you, Jasper, there's no need for you to go. Oh, but I do need. It's my wife and my boy. I'd have gone home before, except then I couldn't even walk. Well, we know that, but we're not sure what we're going to find. If we find anything. Well, it might be easier if you went back. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're trying to get rid of me because you figure I'm too old to do my part, but you can do it. Well, nobody's trying to get rid of you, Jasper. Why don't you stretch out here by the fire and get a little rest? Mingo, I'll stand the first watch. You look like you could use a little sleep, too. I could indeed. Mr. Boone, from here on in, I want to do my share of the watching. Well... Thank you, Jasper, but Mingo and I... No, 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 Mr. Boone, I mean it. I really want to do it. It means a great deal to me. All right, I'll wake you when it's time. Uh, now, how soon do you expect to get there? Well, now, that's a little hard to say when we don't know exactly where we're going. Will there be a lot of Shawnee? There'll be enough to go around. Where do you expect to find them? Well, almost any place from now on. Mr. Boone. Mm-hmm. Fellow once told me that no matter how far away they were, the Shawnee Indians always carry their dead back to their own burying ground. Now, is that a fact? They usually try. That's very interesting. Don't forget to call me when it's my turn to watch. I won't forget. I may not be any use on this trip, but I certainly know how to keep my eyes open. <sighs>
It's all there. It's all there. I heard it. It's a, it's a tiger, a panther or something. It's right over there. I'd go myself, but I dropped my gun accidental. It, it could be a... you, you miserable, good-for-nothing jackass. I've got something to say to you. Ah, oh, 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 to you, too. And one more question. Why did that mule stray so far? And why in this direction? I guess he's been here before. And so has Jasper. Figures. Well, doesn't that mean anything to you? Mm-hmm. But I don't like to think about it. Well, the first thing you got to do, Becky, is just relax. Daniel's all right. Of course, I would have been a lot happier if he hadn't gone. But then we can't be laughing and smiling all the time, can we? Because if we was, he wouldn't appreciate good things when they come, would we? What I am trying to say is I sure wish he'd get back. Oh, there are times I wish Dan wasn't such a man of his word. Well, then he wouldn't be Daniel Boone, and you wouldn't like that neither. You're right. I wouldn't like that. Well, now then, what's your list? What you out of? Sugar, salt? Oh, I don't need anything, Cincinnatus. I just hope there might be news from someone riding through. Well, now, you just relax yourself, Becky. I'm expecting Ben Clark from Salem. Now, I sent him for some supplies, and you can't tell. Maybe he saw Daniel. I didn't see him, and I didn't look. I got held up by two of the meanest critters I've ever seen in my life. You know, you almost lost me. If it hadn't been for my passengers, I don't think I'd be even here to tell the tale. Passengers? I sent you to Salem for supplies, not to start a stagecoach line. Well, there's no harm in being kind, is there? It was one of the smartest things ever done in my life. Yes, sir, that young fella, he stepped in, and he grabbed one of them critters by the leg, and his ma stepped in, and then she hit the other one over the head with her satchel. His ma? Yeah, i never seen anything like her. I do admire a strong woman, just as long as I ain't married to her. I said to her, any time you want to ride, you can hitch onto my wagon, Mrs. Ledbetter. Did you say Ledbetter? I said, Mrs. Ledbetter, I'm going to tell everybody in Boonesboro what you've done. Mr. Clark. There may even be a reward out for catching them men the way you did. Mr. Clark, where is she? Who? Mrs. Ledbetter. Well, now, there's no need to get mad. I was just trying to tell you what I was trying to where say. Where is she? She's right here. Huh? That's what I was trying to say. I'm Mrs. Ledbetter, Lucy Ledbetter. And this is my son, little Freddy. <laughs> you were shot my name. Something wrong? Uh, yes, uh, yes, you there is. Better let me take over, Becky. You wouldn't by any chance be related to a man by the name of Jasper Ledbetter, would you? <laughs> Only by marriage. Why? Do you know Jasper? We know him. Well, well why are you looking at us like we're ghosts or something? Oh, I'm sorry. But in a way, it, it's as though we were looking at ghosts. You see, we were told you were captured by the Indians. Well, who told you that? Your husband, that's who. Jasper Ledbetter. <laughs> that sounds like Jasper. But why would he tell such a preposterous story? Oh, it's a long tale. Uh, but if we could sit by your fire... And if you happen to have a cup of hot rum handy. <laughs> Horace, you must be cold and tired from your trip. Hungry, too. I might as well tell you right off, I haven't any money. I don't know how I'll ever repay you for your hospitality. 
Well, you could start by telling us why your husband set out to hoodwink a lot of us. Well, no, Jasper, I figured he found out he couldn't do it by himself, so he came here for help. And because he knew that Daniel Boone was the one man could get him into Shawnee country. Well, if you and your ma ain't captives, then what's he lost out there in the Shawnee territory? Oh, it's not what he's lost. It's what he expects to find. Gold. Gold? Gold? Yeah. I never heard of gold being found in the Shawnee Territory. Oh, it wasn't found there. It was carried there. You see, Bert Gowan, he's an old friend of my father's, struck it rich someplace out west. Well, he was headed home when the Shawnees jumped him. So he hid the gold and rode his pack mule out. Well, where's this, uh, Bert Gowan fella now? Well, he's looking for my father, I imagine. You see, Bert made a big mistake. He trusted Jasper. He made a map of where the gold was hidden and he showed my husband. Well, Jasper was gone before daybreak. So was the map, and so was Bert's mule. Did he mention where the gold might be hidden? All I know is it's somewhere in Shawnee burial ground. A burial ground? That's what Bert said. I don't suppose Jasper ever figured I'd follow him out here. But if he finds anything, I'm going to see that the Freddy and I get it. Well, you're not going to get anything, Mrs. Ledbetter. Dan won't go near that burial ground. Why not? Because he wouldn't desecrate it. To the Shawnee, that's sacred ground. Oh, Mrs. Boone, nothing's sacred to Jasper Ledbetter. He's going to get your husband there some way, because he's going to trick him, just like he tricked you all before. <laughs> some rest. I'll stand watch. I want to feel I'm doing my share after all you've done for me. I'm wide awake tonight. You've got no cause for worry. <laughs> Jasper, this is Shawnee country. If you must yell for help, we'd appreciate it if you'd yell quietly. Yeah, if I hear anything, I'll, I'll whisper. Why are we stopping here? Looks like we've got a lot of daylight left. Well, it's a good place to leave the mule. Grass and water. We can pin him up in that little canyon there so he won't stray. You mean we're all going on from here afoot? That's what I mean, so climb down off of that mule. Wouldn't that take a lot longer? My feet ain't in condition for any fast walking anymore. It might take longer, but it would be a great deal safer. Why safer? Well, if your wife and boy are being held captive, they'll be at Chillicothe. That's the main village of the Shawnee. We're getting close, too close to run the risk of traveling any further with this mule. But what about my Lucy and my little Freddy? Well, what about them? Well, when we get them, they may be too weak to travel. Looks like we ought to have the mule with us so as they can ride. Well, they'll either be able to travel or well, they won't. Now, climb on down. We're wasting a lot of time. Shawnee burial ground. What are the spears for? War lances, you might say they're warning to keep out. And I, uh, I suppose they're dead bodies up on those platforms. Huh? 
Yes, they're on the platform so that the dogs and wild animals can't get at them. Beside each warrior, they place his bow, his shield, his knife, pipe and tobacco, flint and steel, food. Food? Yes, food to last until his soul reaches the spirit land. Not very civilized, are they? There's a country. The Shawnee village is about two miles from here. I reckon we ought to circle and backtrack if we're going to get there by dark. Circle? Couldn't we just walk right on through? I reckon you could, but chances are you'd end up as dead as everybody else in there. Mr. Boone. Mr. Boone. Do you suppose there are any caves in there anywhere? Well, I reckon there could be. Why? Well, you see, it's a... It's this dream I had. Now, ever since they took Lucy and my little Freddy away from me, I've had this dream that they were tied up in an old dark cave. Now, maybe it's a sign. Maybe they're in there in a cave. That'd be the last place they'd keep them. This is sacred ground. Well, couldn't we uh, sneak in and make sure there's nobody around to stop us? Jasper, it seems to me you have a real unhealthy curiosity about Indian cemeteries. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Boone, it's not that. I've got as much respect for the dead as anybody. It's, well, I thought if we just walked in and looked, it would, it would ease my mind. Yes, well, it might ease your mind, but it wouldn't be so comfortable for the rest of you. So... How much further do we have to go? Oh, I say four or five miles. Four or five miles. Mr. Boone, I just can't make it. It's not that I don't want to go. I want to help, but I haven't got the strength. Well, it won't take much, Jasper. I don't like the idea of leaving you behind. Don't. Don't worry about that. The good Lord looks after fools and little children. Well, are you sure you won't try to follow us after you get your strength back? You see that rock up there? I want you to go up there and get behind it. Mingo and I'll be back by daylight. And no matter what happens, I want you to stay out of sight. You understand? I promise. And I'm a man of my word. Ask anybody. In Pennsylvania, that is. Now, that'd be a little inconvenient. He doesn't look all that tired to me. Mingo, you're a suspicious man. The Indian in me. I don't trust you pale faces. But I don't like the idea of leaving him here. Well, I'm not real sure I like it either. But on the other hand, I'm not real sure I'd like to have him along. <laughs> well, shall we start searching singly or together? I think we should split up. We'll get through quicker. And the sooner I get out of there, the happier I'm going to be. Why don't you take the west side? I'll take the south side and we'll meet back here. If I'm not back by daylight, don't wait for me. And try not to trip over anything. Yes.
listen, I didn't mean any harm. I was just taking a little walk. That was all. I did not mean any harm. <laughs> Hey, Jasper, come on out. We want to talk with you. Jasper! 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 What do you think, Mingo? I'd like to think he's gone back to Pennsylvania. I'm sorry, Daniel, but I felt there was something wrong right from the beginning, and now I'm certain of it. He's not looking for a wife and child. It's something else, and whatever it is, he wants it badly. I know. I felt that way myself. I was getting mighty fond of old Jasper. I remember once you had a pet deer, Daniel. You grew mighty fond of it, but when it reached its full growth, it almost killed you. The burial ground. That's where he's been. You know what they'll do to him. And he probably deserves it. And I reckon I can't stand by and let it happen. And if you try to interfere, you're apt to wind up burning at the stake beside him. And that's possible. Mingo, how loud can you yell? Hmm, loud enough when it's necessary. I'm almost afraid to ask, but why? Because I want you to sound like half the Continental Army when I lead the charge. When you lead the what? You heard me, the charge. We'll just knock off a few feathers and then you follow me. Or we'll both wind up beside him. Mr. Moon, I... Hold I, the talk, Jasper, and start running. We'll have the whole Shawnee Nation on our tail. Before I go to the happy hunting ground, Mr. Ledbetter, there's one question I'd like you to settle in my mind. Why did you send us after the Delaware when you knew it was the Shawnee you wanted to go to? I needed time to rest. I was too worn out to travel then. I was worn out from walking, walking. I've always hated walking. I never thought I'd be walking to my own funeral. But considering what I did, I don't deserve any better. But you and Mr. Boone, I did this to you, and there's no way to undo it. That, Mr. Ledbetter, is the one thing that you've said that happens to be true. Get him behind the rocks. Here they come. Mighty fine shoot. I told you, remember what I said? I said. Charge!
Jasper Ledbetter. Lucy. That's Lucy. That's Lucy. That's little Freddy. Why, well, I'm surprised at you, Mingo. I'd know Lucy Led better than Freddy anywhere, just from Jasper's description. Well, folks, shall we go? Listen, I told you I did it for you and little Freddy so you could have all the things I was never able to give you before. Jasper, you talk too much. You ain't never done anything in your life except for yourself. Mr. Boone, since you're the one that's been hurt the most, I'll leave it up to you to name what Jasper's punishment should be. Well, Ms. Ledbetter, do me one favor, if you would, please. Take him back to Pennsylvania and keep him there. I'm afraid I might start liking him again. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, man. I'll see if we don't get back away but from Lucy, us again. Lucy, if we go back to Pennsylvania, Bert Gowan is apt to kill me. I wouldn't be surprised. But at least he'll get his mule back. Come on, Freddy. Jasper? I wonder if Jasper really wanted that gold, or just wanted to get away from Lucy. Well, Mingo, what I've seen of her, I've been a little bit of both. 